successful leaders look beyond the operational issues to the big changes that are happening in the world and think strategically about how to address those changes, what opportunities they throw up, and what capabilities their organizations need to address them. Technological change, the loss of trust in business, change in environments, the climates, a wide spectrum of different things that have very important long-term implications for a business but often creep up on us unawares because they don't require an operational decision today. This programme is a chance to step back and really ask what are the implications of those big shifts I see happening in the world. The things that shape organisations are the things they did not plan for. They are the things that test the leaders. You have to be prepared for the world around you to change radically. And you can do something to prepare yourself for it, and that's what we talk about on the course. The programme is aimed at people who are open-minded, who are willing to undertake a journey to think how they need to transform their companies to deal with the changes happening in the world. For leaders to really be able to address these big issues, we need to go beyond what you can learn in the classrooms. Participants attend a session at the Scott Polo Institute to meet some of the leading researchers on climate change and think through what it means to lead in the harsh environment. We go to the Cambridge Boathouse and discuss the dynamics of high-performance teams. We're very selective about who comes on the ALP because it's important that participants have the right level of experience to learn from each other. Generally, around 18 countries are represented from across the world within the 20 or 24 people on the programme. We use Cambridge's unique power to convene a group of high calibre individuals from a range of sectors. People who have had first-hand leadership experience at the very highest levels of business and government. An important part of the journey in the programme is the ability to identify new opportunities and to find creative solutions to build advantage in their organisations. It also makes participants think, are there changes and technologies out there that I really should be looking at? Innovation is important for every type of sector, whether it's in for-profit businesses like automotive, pharmaceutical, electronic, or the not-for-profit sector or government. Improving our products and services is critical for us to be competitive. Cambridge offers the opportunity to have the reflection that comes with an 800-year history, as well as exposure to the cutting edge of technology and high-tech thinking. The final part of the journey is really about self-discovery, rethinking my personal leadership style and capabilities in this new world I've come to understand. Each individual's journey will be unique, but we try to make it rich, insightful and rewarding. I've had the opportunity during the last three weeks to lift my head up out of the operational day-to-day -day environment in which I work and take a good look around. I'm now much better equipped to go back to work and be robust about the capabilities that the organisation needs. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the course has had a really major impact and in fact in some areas, professionally and personally, has changed my life. If it's a standard tools and techniques programme executives are after, I'm afraid this one's not for them.